Melania Trump's reported decision to delay moving into the White House when her husband takes office could cost New York City millions of dollars in added security and disrupted commerce. But at least one journalist is cheering the move. In fact, Politico's Jack Schaefer argues Melania Trump should go one step further and abdicate the largely ceremonial role of First Lady entirely. First spouse isn't technically an official position, so there's no salary for the role or anything. But past FLOTUSes have maintained a staff of federal employees. In 2010, Michelle Obama's staff of 18 people was paid $1.5 million. The role has also given presidential wives a platform to push pet projects. That's relatively uncontroversial when it comes to causes like children's education or healthy eating. But more assertive first ladies have also dipped their toes into political causes like civil rights and healthcare with mixed results. In terms of time, media attention, and money paid to unelected public servants, the closest analog to the first lady might be the UK's royal family. But despite her reluctance to move to DC, Melania Trump has shown no signs of bucking the trend. She's already picked out her personal cause for the next four years, stopping cyberbullying.